from the International Tennis Hall of Fame in Newport, Rhode Island, we welcome you to the induction ceremony for the class of 2012. The only thing that could make this ceremony any more exciting or any more eventful would be if Randy were here to make these comments himself. But Randy was, his modest manner would prevent him from standing or sitting here and telling you of all his accomplishments. So I'm not gonna do that again today. It's well documented. So as Randy would say, thank you, good luck, keep pushing forward and hook them horns. Thank you. And thank you all at the Hall of Fame for keeping our sport alive through our history, which hopefully we all can learn from. I will close by accepting this award on behalf of all those professional players who were banned from playing Grand Slams for so many years, but were so instrumental in bringing about open tennis to our sport. Some like Pancho Gonzalez, Lou Hode, Kurt Nielsen, Robert Aye, and Barry McKay have passed on but there are still some of us left to remember where we came from. Thank you. Thanks to the tennis, I have the chance to meet a wonderful person, play with great players, and make good friends. Has also allowed me to fulfill many of my dreams. I dream, I dream it of being a tennis player, and I achieve it. I dream it of being one of the best and I think I achieved it. I dream to win a Grand Slam, and I won the US Open. Thank you very much. I really enjoyed this day. This is gonna be one of my special days in my life. Thank you very much. More than her incredible records, more than the power game that she helped pave the way for, her true legacy, that's her true legacy. It earned her more titles and more fans than anything else. Today, it earns her a place in the International Tennis Hall of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Jennifer Capriotti. I've spent my life either being on a tennis court or missing the tennis court. So I can't believe this day is here. I wasn't sure if it would ever come and if I would have the chance to take my place on center court again. And last but not least, I thank the fans. We love you. Love you too. <laughs> A new beginning that is going to allow me to use that all, all that I accomplished on and off the court to inspire and help everyone to believe in themselves, love themselves, and be true to themselves. So thank you all so much. This slim, tall, curly haired boy, sometimes referred to as clay surfer, sometimes called Picasso of the courts, and as still other times no simply simply as a boy, is Gustavo Kirchen, most often known as Guga. Guga is a boy, and will always be a boy, Sue, <laughs> who searches for the best in others, and who has given the best of himself. I thought it would take me longer to cry. <laughs> Just to the beginning, before the beginning. I don't know what's harder for me if it's to get uh, this far on the Hall of Fame or do the speech. <laughs> <laughs> but as my mother told, I never give up, so I'll go ahead. Let's see what happens. <laughs> the one who, who could uh, uh, dream at the beginning was my father. He's my hero, my father, my idol. So he's the one that I dedicate the, the most this, this title as uh, I can call, I believe. 
ladies and gentlemen, the 2012 induction class of the International Tennis Hall of Fame and Museum.